We've all heard about the creature with the ravenous maw. That big creature that our parents spoke of before bedtime. A creature capable of devouring anything in its path. Today I'll be telling the story of the very hungry caterpillar. I've chosen this children's story due to be one of the most well-known children's stories out there. Told in schools and by parents to their children before bedtime. And I thought for my teaser that it'd be kind of fun to tell it in a dramatic way due to how the caterpillar is described in the book. So now I tell a story of the very young caterpillar by Eric Carl. In the light of a moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came a tiny, very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he threw one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he threw three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he threw four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he threw five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he threw one piece of cake. One ice cream cone, one slice of cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caliper ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called the cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out. He was a beautiful butterfly.